Beautiful. Inside the final quarter of an hour now. Oh, lovely weighted ball. They might be. Uh, cool. Nice. Let's go. Yeah. Here's the facts of this guy. He's just wanting us to do it. Nice, good save. Get in there. Yes, that's what we needed. Yes. And options in the center. That was so hard. It was like a twist. We then I shouldn't have really came as far or whatever. That's supposed to be a ball roll. That's it. Oh. Got good long shots. You just hit iron, I guess. Or Yep. Let's go. Yes. Yes. Well, as you can see, this is a great bit of skill. He hits it perfectly, doesn't he? That's a brilliant strike. Oh, the curve. Oh. Let's go. Bottom of the crossbar. Can you see that in hyper motion, please? Because that struck so sweetly, he really does surprise everybody here, not least the keeper. Wow. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look, look at it. Oh, nice, nice. Did he get it? Let's go! Oh, Give me that! Oh, Absolute oh, gaga. Oh, right around the defender. I did like three combo yeah, move right there. What's going on, guys? This is Lesky, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys this max height, max weight playmaker build that you're mostly going to be using in the cam position. Similar to the most recent build I posted on my channel, that 5-4 winger build, I was mostly using that build as a cam. And same for this, you're gonna be using it in the cam position, even though we are listed as a right mid, I just think for a big build like this, playing as a cam, the right mid position is actually better than the actual cam position. And that's mostly because they have better physical attributes and we'll get into that more once we get to the skill tree. So we're max height, max weight, and preferred foot's really up to you. Let's take a look at the perks. For the first perk on this build, I decided to go for skill dribbler. I think the dribbling stat on this build is 88, I believe, or around there. So with skill dribbler on, I'm assuming it'll upgrade the dribbling stat plus five or plus 10. So if it does that, it'll probably be like mid 90s, high 90s when it comes to the dribbling stat. And that's very clutch for a playmaker build. We're gonna be in tight situations, and especially since we're so big, having very good dribbling is nice, and the dribbling feels amazing. Uh, I haven't tried the build without skill dribbler, uh, but you could if you want, if you don't think you need the extra dribbling stat, and you could put like another perk on. I'll tell you guys um, towards the end of this perk section what other perks you could use on this build. The second perk that I always use on this build, I always kept skill dribbler and thread of pass, um, this is just good for through balls over the top, makes your through balls way better, increases your vision. We have pretty high vision on this build, but it just makes your, your vision even better, which makes your through balls more accurate, grants you the five star weak foot when you're making through ball passes, um, gives you the flare trait. And then most importantly, it gives you that swerve trait, which will add a lot more bend and curve to your passes. And it can like avoid defenders, um, and lead your attacker perfectly. The swerve trait is very underrated in FIFA. So I have threaded pass. Again, you can switch that up if you want like precision pass if your team doesn't do very many through balls over the top. Active first touch could be a good option. Um, the third perk, I decided to go for light passes. I really like this perk when I'm playing in a playmaker position, feeding my strikers over the top, especially if the strikers don't have like insane ball control. It is very nice. Um, it'll kind of just stick to their feet and they'll be able to control the ball a lot better and it can lead to a lot more assists. And as I said in other videos, I think it could even help on like their one time shots when you're like crossing it to them or they're like hitting a shot off like a through ball. I could even help with that, but I'm not too sure about that. So some other options you could do. I use this build a lot with the, ch the chase down perk, just messing around. And it was actually pretty good um, being six, seven. The defensive stats are pretty decent. So with chase down, every time your team loses the ball, you can like press high up 
on the field and maybe get a lot of steals, which can lead to like good offensive scenarios for your team. Uh, distant shooter could be good, but I, you definitely don't need it. The distant shots are already really good. Active first touch, as I already said. Tireless runner, maybe. Precision pass. First time shot could be good. Poacher as well. There's really a lot of options, um, but I think that's really about it. Physical strength could be good too, but I think this build already has like 95 strength. Um, just the jumping is pretty low. So if you want the physical strength perk, it can max out the strength and then upgrade the jumping if you want, because this build does have pretty good heading which is another reason why I wanted to make a big playmaker build like this, because you can actually be an aerial threat too and run into the box, which is very clutch. So now let's take a look at the skill tree. Starting on the physical page, I decided to go for both of the archetypes, bull and acrobat. The reason I went for the bull archetype is to get the max strength and make this build have the lengthy accelerate run style. But if you don't care for the lengthy accelerate run style or maybe you want to use this build and you aren't on the new gen version of fifa you're still on the old gen version then you could take off the bull archetype you'll still have a 90 strength and then you could upgrade other categories like the pace or like the agility more um get this reaction upgrade because i only went for one upgrade in reactions on this right side so you definitely could do that but if you want the build exactly how i have it you're gonna have to go for the bull archetype in order to get the lengthy accelerate run style um, and then on the right side, I went all the way down to the Acrobat, mostly for stamina, but we also get some jumping upgrades. And then I got this plus four reactions for two skill points. Like I said, the jumping is pretty low. So if you want to go for the physical strength perk, you could to upgrade the jumping and the strength more. Uh, but I don't think it's necessary for a cam. Maybe if you were like a striker or playing up top as like a center forward or something, then it would be more important. But as a cam, um, 73 jumping is fine, especially because we are 6-7. On to the defending page, where I don't have any upgrades, but I did mention that the defensive stats on this build, as a tall right mid, are actually very decent. If you look at them, the base stats are 64 interceptions, 73 defensive awareness, 70 stand tackle, and 67 slide tackle. So that's why I mentioned you could even use this build as like a box-to-box -box midfielder, and it could work quite well because the defensive stats... Um, are really not too bad and if you wanted to like if you wanted to take off that bull archetype you could use some of those skill points to upgrade defense that could be a good idea so since this build has 95 strength in order to get the lengthy accelerate we need 14 more strength than agility on this build so 95 minus 80 is 15 so that meets the mark to get lengthy on this build and then 80 agility for a 6-7 build is really not too bad at all. If we wanted to max out the agility, we would have to get this plus 2 and it would be 82. You're probably not going to notice much of a difference. And then once you do that, you won't be lengthy. So that's why I have this build like it is. 80 agility really doesn't feel like you have 80 agility, especially if you utilize some of those 5-star skill moves or 4-star skill moves that are very good. Um, and then we basically have everything else except for this attack positioning and dribbling right here. And looking at the stats, 91 balance, uh, 90 ball control, and then 88 dribbling. And remember, we have the skill dribbler perk on this build to increase the dribbling stat even more. So it's probably mid to high 90s actually on this build. Feel free if you don't want to use five star skills, you're not going to utilize them. Take them off and then you could use those skill points somewhere else. Um, I would suggest maybe putting them on reactions, uh, using some of those skill points on reactions. Uh, but that's the drilling page. Let's take a look at passing. Of course, I decided to go for a lot of skill points here. On the left side, I wanted to upgrade the vision. As you can see, we only have 76 vision to start out. So I got this crossing and vision right here. And then you're just going to go straight down to get both of these curves and then get this curve at the bottom left. So we'll have 85 curve on this build. And this will help for your shots, doing like finesse shots, outside the foot shots, and all types of passes. I really like upgrading curves this year. And then on the right, we're mostly focusing on upgrading the short passing, long passing, and then the vision a bit. So we have 89 vision, 88 crossing, 87 long pass, 87 short pass, and 85 curve. The reason we have such good of crossing is we only went for like a plus two upgrade. We're a right mid, so the crossing is already pretty good. So that's kind of just an upside of being a right mid, I guess. Uh, but again, the passing starts, the stats are phenomenal. And if you decide to put one of the passing perks on, like threaded pass, the vision will be better. Or like precision pass, the long pass and short pass could be even better. So the playmaking ability with the crazy dribbling and this crazy passing can be quite fun to use on this build. 
onto the shooting page. I went for the five star weak foot so you don't have to worry about what foot you're shooting with or passing with. It's just nice to have the five star. So five star skills, five star weak foot on this build. On the left side, you're just gonna go down to this weak foot and then we'll also get plus five shot power upgrades. And then on the right, make sure to get these heading upgrades. This will upgrade our heading to 89 being 6.7. Like I said, this build is actually pretty good with headers. And then get the other weak foot, get this finishing to the right of it for plus three finishing. And then you're just gonna go down and get the finisher archetype, which will upgrade finishing, long shots, and volleys. And looking at the stats for a cam, they are not bad at all. 86 finishing, 89 heading, 89 shot power, 89 long shots, 84 volleys, 76 pins, and 82 free kick accuracy. So this build is very good with the five-star weak foot and these shooting stats. And as I said, the long shots with that shot power are phenomenal, especially if you're doing like Trivella shots or finesse shots, especially those Trivella shots. Um, the outside foot shots are very good uh, this year. They even nerfed it in the most recent update a few days ago, but they're still very overpowered. Um, so give those a try. And then again, if you wanted to like take a perk off and go for like a shooting perk, like first time shot or poacher, distant shooter, you can make these shooting stats even better if you want. In my opinion, as a cam, you really don't need a whole lot of pace. But since this build has the lengthy accelerate, I swear this build is so much faster than it actually says. It says it has 81 acceleration, 84 sprint speed, but I am absolutely burning people because of the lengthy accelerate. And I'm just like 6'7", 253 with crazy strength. No one can like body me or pull me back or anything. And then again, the balance is like 90, so you don't stumble very much. But this build feels extremely fast. And this pace that you see right here, I swear it feels so much faster um, if you're on the new gen version of FIFA, that is because of the lengthy accelerate run style. So that's going to wrap it up for this build video. Let me know what you think of it in the comments. Give it a try. It's a whole lot of fun to use. Hit that like button on this video for me and then hit that subscribe button on my channel if you haven't already. As always, y'all have a great rest of y'all's day and peace out.